let us know about the plans for you to just really work out as a wide receiver here this weekend. Just curious, at what point did they inform you of that, and how did it feel? What were your emotions? Uh, well, uh, coach informed me that the uh, very next day uh, after I got drafted. Uh, when I came down here, he kind of talked me, uh, brought me into the room, asked me how I felt about it, and uh, really, I feel great about it. I feel like it's going to help me maximize my opportunity, maximize my skill set. So I feel like Coach knows what he's doing. He's doing what's best for the team, and I feel like it's going to work out uh, really well. Something you had spoken with us about on that first introductory press conference day um, was that you and Trevor, there would be, you know, obviously you have that chemistry already and there'd be kind of a sense of normalcy. So as you guys came down here on Wednesday, I mean, and you've been here four or five days now. What has it meant to have him with you both in the backfield and off the field as well? Uh, it feels like I'm right at home. I mean, uh, it doesn't feel uh, much different. I feel like uh, there's new colors, but the same, 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 uh, same goals that we have in hand. And now I feel like uh, having Trev here just really makes everything easier. And uh, we both, Rick is both going through it, so we have each other to lean on uh, when times get hard. So I feel like he's just making this transition much easier. Awesome. Thanks, Travis. Thank you. Thank you, Mia. We'll go to J.P. Shadrick and then Andy Staples. Hey, Travis. Um, about the running routes thing, I, I, I don't think you lined up outside much, at, if at all, at Clemson, right? So what's the most difficult part of the route running portion of this thing? Uh, I, I feel like it's really just my confidence, uh, just getting my confidence, just uh, building repetition. I feel like I'm a great athlete, so I'm able to naturally just do things. Uh, but it's just getting that repetition, getting that working with the receiver coach, and just really uh, just, just really working on my technique. And I feel like once I get that down, uh, I feel like I could be as good as the route runner as anyone. And then, you know, we, we talked to you right after the, the draft, and you said the last year or so you really worked on pass catching. And, and out of the backfield, hands and all that stuff. Um, you still have to work on that? Is that a daily um, thing for you still? I mean, uh, it's a daily thing. I mean, uh, we're here to get better. We're here to work on our craft. And I mean, uh, I, I feel like it's natural. Uh, it's not just catch the ball, but I mean, you always want to sharpen your tools. So I feel like uh, I, I keep doing it. I keep getting better. I've been an expert at it. So I mean, I've been working this long. So why would I stop working on it, you know? Thanks, JP. We'll go to Andy Staples, John Reed, and then finish up with Cassidy Hill. Travis, you became a bigger part of Clemson's passing game every year you were there. Was that was that something that, that Coach Sweeney and Coach Elliott said, you know, before each year, hey, we, we want to make you a bigger part of this, or did it just sort of happen organically? Uh, it just kind of uh, a little bit of both, but it really kind of happened organically, just uh, getting uh, used to the playbook and uh, really just honing in on my skills and just being comfortable and uh, building my confidence uh, coming out the backfield. And I just, me and Trev just building that trust. I felt like uh, we just had a really good uh, connection and I just kind of uh, translate over to the field. Thank, thank you, Andy. We'll go to John Reed and then Cassidy Hill. How you doing, um, Travis? Do, do you think this playing out wide kind of helps you more to get in space that you can use that athleticism and speed that you have? I mean, just what do you feel the advantages are for you playing on the outside like that? Uh, well, I mean, uh, football is a game of matchups. I mean, uh, I, I feel like I uh, create a problem outside for a linebacker, so I feel like uh, football is a game of matchups, and we're just trying to get the best matchups for us to go out there and make plays and uh, do what's best for the team. So I feel like if I really hone in on my skills and just keep working at it, uh, work on my route running ability, and uh, really just focus in on what uh, the plan is and just buy into that, uh, we'll make, uh, make plays. But we're playmakers, and now I feel like, uh, like I said, football is a game of matchups, and uh, this creates the best matchups for us. Yeah, I'll get a quick follow up. You, yep, you, you're good, John. You know Trevor better than anyone on that team right now. What, what did you feel about two days after seeing your former Clemson teammate out there? I mean, what what would you be your assessment of after two days? Uh, I feel like Trevor's locked in. Uh, he's locked in. He's brought into uh, what the culture is, uh, what the plan is for the uh, organization. And I feel like uh, we, we're all ready to roll, and uh, he's going to lead us. He's going to um, take us to the next step. Thank you. Thank you, John. We'll go to Cassidy Hill and then finish up with John Osher. Hey, Travis. Uh, when you see the rule change that you can wear number one, do you start jockeying right away? Ma'am? When you saw the rule change that you could wear number one, did you start jockeying right away for it or dreaming about it? Uh, no, not really. Not really. I'm not even going to lie to you. Uh, I kind of, I, uh, I wore number 44, but uh, it's kind of weird because like, I felt like any other time I got dropped to 44 would have been open. It just so happened I got dropped to the Jaguars in 44. He's already taken it. He's a great player. So I, I just felt like uh, one, one was open, and uh, 
I, I had her doing like the little press uh, when I came out here and it, it looked good. So I was like, we might as well just stick with it. Did you at least offer to buy it or did you try for 44 or just say, no, I'm not even going to bother him about it? No, nah, 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 not even going to bother him about it. <laughs> <laughs> and then off the field, I know you've been down here for a couple of days now, but have you gotten acclimated? Have you found the house? Like, what has life been like the past couple of weeks for Travis? Uh, well, uh, no, I'm, I'm looking for an apartment right now. I'm looking for an apartment or condo. Uh, living in a hotel right now. I'm uh, going to be there for probably the next five five to six weeks. Uh, so so really, really just trying to um, just get in my playbook, honestly. Haven't been really worried about any of the outside stuff. Just really trying to lock in uh, to what the plan is so I could be the best player on the field. And now I feel like I'll get an apartment whenever. Uh, it, that, that'll just come with time. But right now, my main focus is just getting out here and trying to uh, be the best I can in rookie minicamp. Thank you. Don't go too crazy with room service. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Cassidy. We'll finish up with John Usher. Hey, Travis, obviously you're in the playbook and, and I sort of trying to learn a new position. Is there anybody that you'll try to watch and study and emulate in doing that? Or you just kind of do it and uh, try to be yourself? I, I mean, I mean, uh, I feel like I want to watch a lot of guys. Uh, I feel like uh, right now I kind of just been watching uh, the the receivers that we drafted, uh, just watching them, just taking minute reps, just uh, learning from them each and every rep. Uh, but I feel like as more as I get into it, I'll, I'll uh, turn on YouTube videos and just uh, watch guys who've been doing it for such a long time and try to uh, incorporate their their uh, their game into mine.